What's going on guys, Terribly Tactical here, and today we are talking about the Lantac Dragon Muzzle Brake. And do you need one? Should you use one? What are the benefits? What are the detractors? This is going to be a quick little video. Um, Lantac's pretty popular for the muzzle devices amongst other things. They make a quality product. They're not the cheapest thing out there. Uh, this one is running on my Draco that I have set up. You know, it's a pistol. got it set up, you know, for a pistol. All that nonsense. Krylon did operator AF, right? Got the little stream light, all that cool stuff. Um, and it's a 30 cal, right? It's a 762 by 39. So it thumps a little bit more than a 556, five, sure. I've never found any issue with it if it was just a barrel nut or if it was a slant brake. Slant brakes are nice because traditionally an AK 47 rifle recoils up and to the right. So by having the slant brake, it pushes those gases up in that direction, pushing the muzzle back down center. So, And they're very effective. They're ran on most of my AK rifles and most everybody's AK rifles. That's what it comes with. And they do just fine. You know, that's pretty much the standard. And inexperienced people always be like, oh, this thing's broken. It's chipped. It's cut in half. Or, And no, that's just how it is. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, but with the Lantac, you know, it's it's definitely, definitely gonna help a little bit more with recoil it's gonna be a little bit more obnoxious especially for your battle buddy with those chambers those wide open chambers like that and the muzzle flash that comes off the end of this thing is even worse than a regular you know slant break or just barrel nut on here i mean you get some concussion you get you know major fireballs coming out of this you know it's called the dragon for a reason but by spewing all those gases side to side, up, down, everywhere, it compensates for the recoil. Now, I don't necessarily think you need all that on a rifle, especially that you might be fighting with. You know, if it's a competition gun or something like that, that's one thing. But if you're going to be fighting, and especially if you're with a team, you got to worry about your battle buddies. You got to worry about up close and personal and close quarters in a house, in a building, a structure, whatever it may be. You know, that could cause injury, that could, you know, definitely screw with your hearing, that could mess with your night vision, that could do a lot of things, it could screw up your battle buddy, and uh, there's a lot of detractors, but if you are trying to manage recoil, this is a great way to do it. Now, I have it set up on this, this is one of my fighting rifles, so to speak, one of my grab-and-go units that it's set up to just get work done with. And yes, it has one on there. I also have a three-prong or a four-prong for this, and then just a standard slam break as well. So, I mean, I could swap them out whenever. It's relatively easy to do so, and it's no big deal for me. But having it on there, yeah, it's got the detractors. But to me, being able to maybe wrap out a couple extra shots quicker, stay on target quicker, especially because this is a pistol, so it's got a shorter barrel. You know, it's it's not as heavy as a full-length rifle, stuff like that. You know, maybe the extra compensation on the recoil, depending on the situation, may or may not help. Um, but I, I think, you know, it definitely shoots smooth with this. There is muzzle blast, a lot of it. There's a lot of muzzle flash. But it looks cool, and it's, you know, an extra gadget to put on the gun, right? But it is useful. A lot of guys like it, and it really does compensate for the recoil. It does shoot smooth. It does stay flat, and... Uh, it's always a good thing. It does seem to be a little bit louder, but, you know, it is what it is. There's plenty of videos out there of guys shooting them and showing you that. I don't have the opportunity to do, to do that around me, you know, at the moment. So just a quick little update video, quick little, you know, overview video of what I think of it in general. Uh, do you need this on a 5.56? Absolutely not. Usually on my 5.56s, I run just a birdcage because it compensates and hides the flash pretty well. doesn't do either of those things the greatest, but on an AK, you're usually getting some flash no matter what. Uh, so you might as well go all out and compensate for a little bit of recoil. That's the video, guys. Quick little video. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out all the links in the description box below, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.